Hey guys, it's Elise. So today I'll be going through the Amway Compensation Model. So this probably has very little context unless you've watched my other video, so I'll link that. However, if you've come here just to find out what the Amway Compensation Model is about, you're in the right place. So let's get stuck into it. So there's two different acronyms I'm going to use. So one is PV, point value, and the other one is BV, business volume. This is Bill. Every month, Bill spends $800 on Amway products, which is a lot, I know, but bear with me for this example. For every dollar value, there is a point system. So four Australian dollars is one point. And that's the basis of this whole point system. So each month, Bill spends $800 and that is 200 PV, point value. Now, Bill has four people in his team or his downlines or otherwise referred to as partnerships. Rupert, Mary, George and Val. In this example, let's say that each of these four people also spend the same amount Bill does. So they each spend... $800 on Amway products themselves and that is also 200 PV. So then there is this scale and on the left hand side you have the point value and then on the right hand side, the percentage of business volume. So the bottom value is a hundred point value and you get 3% back. The next qualifier is 400 PV and you get 6% back and they're on. And you use this table to calculate how much Bill will get back. Bill's total business of himself and his team is, you calculate it in PV, so 200 and then each of his four people on his team or his downlines spends 200 PV each. So that's a total of 1000 PV. So essentially, him and his team are spending $4,000 per month on Amway products. So because his total team spends 1,000 PV, you go to this table here and see what he qualifies. So Bill qualifies for 9% back. So Bill will get 9% of his own spendings back. So 9% 0.09 times $800 is $72. You can calculate that if you want. And then Bill will get a percentage of what his team members are getting back. So just sidestepping each of Bill's team members are spending 200 PV, so they qualify for 3% back. It's either 100 or um, if they're up to 400, then they'll get 6% back. There's nothing in between. So even though their point value is 200 PV, they qualify for 100, not quite 400 yet. So they get 3% back. Each of these people, they'll get 3% back, so 0 0.03 times 800, they get $24 per month back from what they spend. In this model, we're assuming that none of these four people, so Rupert, Mary, George and Val, none of these people have people under them, just for the sake of this example. So going back to Bill, he earns $72 back from his own spendings. Um, that's the 9% of 
of his personal spendings, which is $800. And then he gets the difference between what he qualifies for, which is 9%, minus the 3% that the team member below him qualifies for. So the difference is 6%. 9% minus 3% times each person's business, which is $800, and then times by four, because there are four people. So that's 6%, 0.06, times $800, because they each spend $800 on Amway products themselves, and there's four of them, so if we just calculate this bit, that's $48 per person he gets back. So $48 from Val, $48 from George, $48 from Mary's business, and $48 from Rupert's business. So 48 times four equals 192. So Bill gets $72 back from his own business or his own spendings and $192, just put the dollar sign on the end and $192 from the team spendings. So each month, Bill gets back 72 plus 192 equals $264 per month. And keep in mind that Bill already spends $800 on Amway products himself each month. So I know that is put forward as money you would be spending anyway on products at the supermarket but just keep that in perspective he's spending $800 but he's getting back $264 per month from himself and his team. Also this is the exact numbers how it was explained to me but who spends $800 a month on like household products? I know I sure don't. I don't even think I would spend like $400 per month. This whole scenario has prompted me to like work out what do I actually spend per month on like household products, but I sure don't think it's $800 or $400. That is a lot to me. So with this model, I was wondering how many people would you have to recruit that each spend $400 per month to earn about $50,000 annually. So $50,000 in a year divided by 12 is about 4,000, let's round up to 200 per month. So 50 people each spending 100 PV, which is $400 what would they qualify for? So that would be 5,000 PV. So if we come, out, come over to our table again, that's 18%. But each of those people are earning 100 PV, so they qualify for 3%. So 50 people times each of their business, you get back the difference between 18%, which is what you qualify for, minus 3%. So you'll get 15% back. So what is that? You'll get $60. Ooh. 50 times $60 back from each of their business. So 50 times 60, 3,000. Could have done that. That's not quite 4,200 per month. What about 100 people? Seven thousand two hundred per month. Okay, well it's somewhere in between, so let's say seventy-five people. Five thousand four hundred. So you would need to recruit 75 people each spending $400 per month on Amway products 
to earn 5,400 per month. That's a lot of people. I know you can break even when each of these four people, they start having partnerships and then they bring in more business to you and you get a higher percentage because your total business increases in your larger team. So if you're the person at the very top, then yes, you can definitely earn a lot of money. I'm not disputing that, but you have to recruit a lot of people. And at the end of the day, you have to spend, or you and your team have to spend a lot of money on Amway products. And that's why I decided it's just not for me because I'm not willing to spend even $400 per month on Amway products. There you go. That's the Amway compensation model. So I hope you found this helpful. Play around with it. It's pretty interesting. Thanks guys. Bye. Oh, 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 oh.